Hi everybody, my name is David. I'm a co-play frontier from the Genesis Group. Just want to give you guys a market update. So right now, if you look at Bitcoin, there you go. Um, it doesn't look. I mean, it doesn't look that bad. It doesn't look that good. Uh, really, you have a lot of bearish divergence. So let me show you what I mean. By a bearish divergence. So I want you guys to look at the indicators. Okay. Let's make it thinner. Cool. Okay. So I want you to see that the prices are going up this way. But if you look here, the indicators are going downwards. All right. And really, I'm looking at this RSI here. Why am I looking at that? I'm looking at that because if you look, when it reached up here, the price was here. And as the RSI just keeps getting lower, the prices went up. So now you had a nice little dip, so a nice little dip. Notice the RSI is only here, but it's like it's making new highs. This is even lower than this, and it made a new high. So the RSI continues to go down on the downward trajectory, but the price is going up. Well. That's a bearish divergence. Okay. That's a bearish divergence. If you look at this peak price, that's like here. And this peak here is actually lower than this, and you still made a new high. Right? And then you see this is about to cross down. This is about to cross down. All of that. I mean, you know, it shows weakness. The longer the prices will go up while the divergence is, you know, you got a bearish divergence. When it does break down, it's going to break down harder. Same, technically you had a bullish divergence before this. Now you have a bearish divergence for me. So the longer this bearish divergence lasts, the harder it's going to fall. Okay. Um, all it did is just gave me more opportunities to sell off some more altcoins that I have. So I'm more cashed out now. If Bitcoin can even move up, if it does, I'll be selling more BTC holdings and other holdings. Um, but that's just what I see. I see bearish diversions. Uh, one thing that you can say that someone looks good is you see this right here it broke up it's going here but the previous high this Bitcoin is using this price range as support but I imagine if this right here goes down Bitcoin's going to go down back to this price range. If Bitcoin breaks down this price range, then you're going to see, you know, eighteen, seventeen thousand dollars $17,000 Bitcoin, whatever. Okay. Um, so, that's what I see. All right. Um, but, I mean, that was a nice move. I mean, let's be honest. It looks nice. Uh, if you look here on the weekly... Yeah, I mean, even on a weekly, you have a bearish divergence. You look at on a three-day chart, you have a bearish divergence. And on the weekly, you have a bearish divergence. So once again, for me, 
this is not a buying opportunity. This is where if I see prices go up, if it goes up, for me, is a great selling opportunity to sell more of what I'm holding. Absolutely. If you look at the three-day, the bearish divergence is even more clear. But the prices are up. But the prices go up. Even this. This. But it's going up. You see that? So, if the indicators are going down, they're saying it's weakness, but the prices are going up, that's not a good sign at all. Let's look over here. Oh, look at the weekly. And in the stronger time frames, the longer time frames, Come on now. I mean, what are you saying? Look at that. New high. RSI. New high. This is going up, but this stuff is going down. What does that tell you? Okay, you have a bearish divergence. And it's been going on for like even more than a month. So... That's not a good sign. Uh, yeah, by no means is it a good sign. Now, let's look at Bitcoin and monthly. Okay, there's no bear. I mean, but it's monthly, so... Let's see, it's okay. You just see resistance in the monthly from previous prices. But on the weekly, the three day, the one day, you see bearish divergence. So to me, it's a selling opportunity. Now, I just want to tell you about my channel. I have a channel where I give daily. Um, in-depth um, Bible applications on how you can apply it to your life, but also what the verses mean and some of the historical background to it. So this is my channel. Um, I will leave a link <laughs> to the channel in the description. So I would like for y'all to um, subscribe. And that's if, if, you know, you're a Christian and you want um, daily Bible study lessons, then yeah. So, but, uh, here, that's the link. I will leave that link in the description. <laughs> so, please. Um, I get no views either, so please, <laughs> you know, Bible study lesson. We all need it. Love you guys. I'm praying for all of you in Jesus' name. Now, uh, what does that mean for CoCoin? Well, look at CoCoin. You just made a new low today. And if Bitcoin continues to go down, I expect CoCoin to continue to go down. If Bitcoin goes from, you know, low 24,000 and goes down to like, you know, whatever, 18, 15,000, maybe break new lows in the next, you know, sometime next month or April, uh, what do you think? It's going to happen to CoCoin prices. It's going to be in the 5, 4, 3 cent range. So, that's all I see. Because look at that. Okay, and let's look at it from here. Okay, that was... Well, let's look at Bitcoin's price action.
Where is this? Bitcoin? Oh. Oh, what am I doing? Okay. Bitcoin's price action is this. BNB's price action looks like this. Ethereum, I even sold some Ethereum today. And I sold it before I started dropping too, so it's cool. Looks like this. And you can see Ethereum's about to cross down. And you can see bearish divergences on all of them. Pretty much. Ethereum looks like that. Bitcoin, all the main coins. But look at CoCoin. CoCoin has been looking like that. So when Bitcoin and the, you know Ethereum starts heading down, Anything's gonna happen to Cocoin. It's it's gonna get you know. Yeah, you're, it's just more downward movement. So Cocoin doesn't look good. Because Bitcoin doesn't even look good. And that's pretty much it. Uh what I can do is I can show y'all. Let's look at a DXY. Uh if you look at the market, let's see what the stock market, Bitcoin, all of that, they, you know, follows the DXY and the Dixie is going up. So if you look at it from like a six month chart, it's starting to head up. It's starting to head up. So as the dollar is going up, what is gonna what do you think will happen to the stocks and Bitcoin is gonna go down why because the dollar had a nice run up you had a serious pullback and maybe three is a little bit hard to draw a channel Maybe I need to use a three year. So I'm not saying this is how it's going to play out. But. <sighs> Let's see. Okay. So if I look at this, we blow it up. Let's say like you had a channel going up like that, like that, and it broke down. Well, maybe it'll almost like work its way up and hit the bottom of this channel before it gets rejected. You get what I'm saying? Can that happen? Absolutely it can happen. And if that happens for the next couple months to come... Well, what happens to these other assets, right? If the Dixie goes up, the other assets are going to go down. And that's going to smash off Coke coins again. So there y'all have it. Right now, it doesn't look good, okay? Please. Uh, once again, I'll leave the link to my channel. And please subscribe if you're interested in having daily uh Bible study lessons, and please, you know, watch them. <laughs> yeah. All right, everyone. And and share that channel with a friend. <laughs> yeah. All right, everyone. Um, as always, I'm praying for all of you. In Jesus Christ's name, God bless all of you. <sighs> you know, um, so it doesn't really look good in, in terms of the crypto market. And even the economy doesn't really look good. Uh, you know, probably you'll see food shortages. Like, you, you know, there's a food shortage when there when the prices of food continues to go up. It's going up because there's a shortage. There's a demand for it, but there's not enough in supply. So 
people are willing to pay more in order to buy it, right? That's what a shortage also that's what a shortage will do. If you see the demand of your food, the price of your food going up, there is there is a shortage on it. So expect food prices to go up, especially in certain items higher than others. That's why you look at the CPI, the price of food is still high. And that's why to me the CPI is a lot worse than what they say it is at 6.4, I think, percent. Because for the average family, average people, the price of food and energy to heat your homes have gone up a lot. And so to us, inflation is a lot worse than a little 6.4%, I think is what it came out. And um, I think food prices will continue to get high. It might get worse because I think, you know, you'll see a food shortage, which you'll see it in the price. So, you know, I always, yeah. Uh, remember, I'm not your financial advisor. I'm not telling you what to do. I do tell you what I do. And what I think will happen, I, I give you all reasons why, like I did today. All right, everyone. Uh, always, you know, be spiritually healthy. Uh, get right with God. And accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Uh, repent of your sins. <laughs> and <clears throat> no, I shouldn't laugh about it, but yeah. And also... Uh, be emotionally healthy, physically healthy. You want to surround yourself with the right people. But, yeah, so it's just, I think still things will continue to get worse before, before they get better. It's unfortunate, but that's what I see. All right, everyone, God bless all of you in Jesus' name. Coke on. Hello?